this helmet on your head. And uh, you can visit any year you choose. You could even travel into the far future. Our perception of time is linear, a continuous sequence of past, present, and future. But what if there were instances that seemed to challenge this understanding? Instances so perplexing that they make us question the fabric of our reality. This video will journey through 10 captivating photographs that have stirred debate and wonder, suggesting the possibility that time travel might just be more than a fictional concept or talking about time travel here. Either it's all a joke or none of it is. Number one, the Charlie Chaplin's Time Traveler. In 2010, a curious footage from a DVD of Charlie Chaplin's 1928 film, The Circus, began making rounds on the internet. The scene in question was not from the film itself, but from the extras. It was a clip of the film's premiere at the Man's Chinese Theater in Hollywood. A woman can be seen, walking by holding an object to her ear that's uncannily reminiscent of a modern-day mobile phone. She seems to be talking into it, as she walks lost in her own world. This is decades before mobile phones were even a concept, let alone a reality. Several explanations emerged soon after the clip went viral. Some suggested she might be using an early hearing aid. However, historical reviews of 1920s hearing aids show that while some were designed to be held, they were much larger and looked very different from what the woman appeared to be holding. Skeptics have brushed off the theory of time travel, citing logical and scientific reasons. They argue that the woman was using some object of her time and our modern perspective merely misconstrued it. Paranormal researcher Benjamin Radford pointed out that human beings tend to find patterns and familiarities in unfamiliar things, a phenomenon known as pareidolia. Therefore, when we see the woman, our brain instantly associates the unfamiliar object with a modern-day cell phone, because that's what we are accustomed to. Yet for enthusiasts and believers, the Chaplin Time Traveler remains an exciting piece of evidence. Their argument lies in the unknowns of our universe, the theories of wormholes and the postulations about time loops, quantum physics, has proposed the existence of multiple timelines where the past, present, and future coexist. If such theories are to be believed, then maybe just, maybe the woman was a fleeting visitor from another timeline, whether a mere optical illusion, a misinterpretation, or an actual glimpse into the mysterious world of time travel, the Charlie Chaplin. Time Traveler will always be a subject of debate, the grainy black and white footage stands as a testament to our unending quest to unravel the mysteries of time and existence, making us wonder if we are forever bound by the linear flow of time, or if there are unseen bridges waiting to be discovered. Number 2. The 1940s Swiss Watch in a 4.00-year-old tomb In an excavation that took place in December of 2008, Archaeologists stumbled upon a mystery that sent ripples through both the scientific and paranormal communities within a sealed tomb in Shaanxi, China, which had not been opened for over 400 years. They found a small yet unmistakably modern artifact, a tiny gold watch. This watch, no larger than a ring, was intricately carved with the word Swiss on its back. Given that the tomb dated back to the Ming Dynasty, it was a baffling discovery. How could a piece of 1940s design end up in a tomb that had been undisturbed for four centuries? The immediate reaction from many was of incredulity. The artifact was labeled as an U-part, which stands for out-of-place artifact. These are items that by scientific understanding and historical chronology simply shouldn't exist within their discovered context. Several theories began to circulate attempting to unravel. The mystery of the watch time travel enthusiasts were quick to raise their voices to them. This was yet another piece of tangible evidence pointing towards the existence of time travelers, who perhaps unintentionally left behind a trace of their journey. Detractors and skeptics offered alternative explanations. Some suggested the possibility of the tomb being reopened and resealed at some later point in time. However, 
The state of the tomb, with no signs of disturbance or tampering, rendered this explanation unlikely as with many ooh parts. The Swiss watch in a Ming dynasty. Tomb does more to raise questions than provide answers. It stands as a testament to our limited understanding of time history and perhaps even alternate realities, even if one dismisses the notion of time, travel. The watch's mere existence challenges the linear progression of innovation and technology. Could there have been advanced civilizations or individuals that were far ahead of their contemporaries? Or do these artifacts provide a window into a complex web of timelines that we are yet to comprehend, while some await concrete scientific explanations, others are content. Embracing the mystery and wonder, such discoveries inspire the 1940s Swiss watch. In a 400-year-old tomb remains an enigmatic piece in the puzzle of our past, urging us to question, explore, and marvel at the intricacies of time and history whether a historical anomaly, a prank, or a genuine artifact of time travel. The watch is a reminder that history often is not as straightforward as it seems. Hipster Number three, the hipster of 1941. One, one, one. one photograph that has perpetually fascinated and confounded historians and time travel aficionados alike is the curious case of the so-called hipster of 1941. It is an image that seems benign at first glance, yet becomes increasingly puzzling upon closer inspection taken during the reopening ceremony of the South Forks Bridge in British Columbia. The black and white photograph captures a crowd gathered for the event among the men, in fedoras, women, in modest dresses, and children in suspenders, one individual sticks out like a sore thumb. He is a man dressed in what appears to be modern, almost hipster-like attire sporting a logo emblazoned t-shirt, sunglasses, and holding a portable camera. He looks starkly out of place among his contemporaries of the early 40s. The stark contrast of his attire to those around him has led many to believe that he might be a time traveler who landed in 1941, armed with apparel and gadgets from a different era. The modern logo on his t-shirt, his wraparound sunglasses, and the portable camera. He holds all seem incongruent with the 1941 fashion and technology. Perhaps the most convincing counterargument was the T-shirt. While it appeared modern, due to the printed logo screen, printed T-shirts had made their debut by the 1940s. What appeared to be a modern company, logo could very well have been a design from that time, just not a widely recognized one. Despite the explanations, the photograph remains a fascinating subject of debate. The hipster of 1941 inches looks undeniably out of place, and even if every piece of his attire could be explained, the culmination of them together on one individual in 1941 is exceedingly rare for many. The allure of the photograph isn't necessarily its unequivocal proof of time travel, but rather the idea it represents. It's a manifestation of the human yearning to believe in the extraordinary impossibilities beyond our understanding. The photo encapsulates the concept that timelines might overlap. That history isn't as neatly packaged as we believe, and that anomalies might just be windows into a world far more complex than we comprehend. Whether the hipster of 1941 inches was merely an avant-garde individual who was ahead of his time or a genuine anomaly in the fabric of time. His image continues to captivate. It stands as a visual ode to the mysteries of time and the boundless realm of possibilities that exist just beyond the fringes of our understanding. Number four, the woman talking on a mobile in 1928. The past has an uncanny way of intertwining with the present and sometimes it presents anomalies that defy our understanding of the timeline, such as the case with a short clip extracted from the extras of Charlie Chaplin's 1928 silent film, The Circus. The footage in question shows a woman walking past the camera holding an object closely to her ear, seemingly engaged in a conversation to the modern viewer. Her behavior appears strikingly familiar. It's as if she's talking on a mobile phone, 
However, this scene unfolds in 1928, a good 60 years before the first mobile phone would make its debut, the internet was set, ablaze with theories and speculations when this footage was spotlighted. How could a woman from the 1920s be holding what appears to be a communication device, eerily reminiscent of a mobile phone? Time travel enthusiasts posited that the woman was indisputably a time traveler providing yet another piece of evidence to the burgeoning file of out-of-place artifacts and individuals. In their view, she had inadvertently revealed her origins from a more technologically advanced timeline while visiting the past. Another more imaginative explanation was that she was using a prototype of a wireless communication device, hinting at a suppressed technological advancement not recorded in mainstream history. While tantalizing this theory, Two lack substantial evidence. Debate about the footage reached such heights that even the woman's own granddaughter came forward, claiming that her grandmother was merely using a portable hearing device, while this claim offered a semblance of resolution. It was not wholly accepted as no verifiable proof accompanied it what makes the footage of the woman in 1928 so compelling isn't merely the anomaly it presents but the broader implications it carries, if by some stretch it were to be accepted as evidence of time travel, it reshapes our understanding of time itself. It suggests a fluidity, an interconnected web of events and timelines, challenging our linear perception of the past, present, and future. The woman talking on a mobile in 1928 epitomizes the enduring human fascination with time and its mysteries. Whether she was a visionary using technology of her era, a time traveler from a distant future, or merely a subject of misinterpretation, her brief appearance in a bygone film continues to captivate minds, urging us to question the very fabric of our reality. Number 5. The Time Traveling Shoe Print Among the various anomalies that challenge our understanding of chronological history, there exists a footprint, not just any footprint, but one that has perplexed historians and scientists alike. This is the story of a shoe print found fossilized in rock that is believed to be over 200 million years old. Such an astonishing find naturally ignited waves of speculation and intrigue. How could a shoe print possibly exist in a time period? So ancient was it possible that human-like beings or even time travelers had once walked the earth during the time of the dinosaurs, time travel theorists saw in this discovery a profound vindication of their beliefs to them. The shoe print was a clear indication that individuals from a more advanced timeline had visited the distant past, leaving behind this imprint as an inadvertent testament to their journey. However, the scientific community approached this anomaly with caution and skepticism, some experts proposed alternative explanations. One suggestion was that the shoe print was a coincidental natural formation, a mere play of erosion pressure and time that happened to take a familiar form. Another explanation proposed that it might have been a contemporary footprint that was subject to rapid sedimentation and fossilization, although such a process would challenge current understandings of geology. Yet what kept the mystery of the shoe print alive and contentious was the detailed stitch-like patterns along its perimeter, natural formations, however intricate seldom mimic man-made patterns. So precisely as with most out-of-place artifacts, the footprint became a subject of debate between two schools of thought on one side. Believers argued for its potential as evidence of time travel or advanced ancient civilizations on the other. Skeptics sought natural or more conventional explanations, viewing the footprint as an oddity, but not necessarily a historical anomaly. The time-traveling shoe print, whether an artifact of an ancient visitor or a geological marvel, serves as a symbol of our relentless quest for understanding. It represents the gray areas of history, where certainties blur, leaving room for wonder speculation and the endless possibilities that time might hold. This enigmatic imprint set in ancient stone 
is a reminder that history often viewed as set and immutable might be more malleable and mysterious than we can ever fathom. Number 6. Andrew Carlson, The Stock Market Wizard in the annals of time travel lore, few tales are as intriguing and contemporary as that of Andrew Carlson. Emerging seemingly out of nowhere in the early 2000s, Carlson achieved what can only be described as an unprecedented and inexplicable financial feat within a short span of two weeks. With an initial investment of $800, he amassed a fortune of over $350 million through a series of high-risk stock trades. Such a miraculous surge in wealth naturally caught the attention of the Securities and Exchange Commission, secking insider trading or some form of illegal activity. They apprehended Carlson for questioning. It was during this investigation that Carlson's tale took a turn into the realm of the fantastical to further bolster his claim. Carlson offered predictions about future events while some of these were broad and hard to verify. Others were more specific, such as mentioning companies that would soon rise to prominence or technological advancements on the horizon. Skeptics, of course, had a field day. They argued that Carlson might simply be an extraordinarily skilled trader or that he had access to insider information. Others speculated that the time travel story was an elaborate ruse a smokescreen designed to cover up illegal activities or deflect attention. Yet aspects of Carlson's tale resisted easy explanation. No one could find any record of his existence before 2002. He seemed to have appeared out of thin air with no past, no history, and no background. His knowledge of the future, while not infallible, was surprisingly detailed in certain areas causing even the most ardent skeptics to ponder the story, takes an even stranger twist, when after being released on bail, Carlson disappeared. Without a trace, all efforts to locate him proved futile. He vanished as mysteriously as he had appeared, leaving behind countless unanswered questions. The enigma of Andrew Carlson serves as a modern testament to humanity's fascination with time travel, it poses the eternal question. If time travel were possible, what would one do with that knowledge? While the truth behind Carlson's extraordinary tale remains elusive, his story continues to captivate, urging us to question the boundaries of what we believe is possible and to marvel at the endless mysteries that time may conceal. Number 7. The Fighter Jet in Ancient Egyptian Hieroglyphs ancient Egyptian culture with its monumental pyramids, enigmatic sphinx, and profound reverence for the afterlife has always been a source of wonder and speculation. Yet among the myriad mysteries it offers there is one in particular that has both intrigued and baffled modern observers, hieroglyphs in the temple of Setiwans in Abydos that bear a striking resemblance to modern-day machinery. These hieroglyphs carved into the ancient limestone walls seem at first glance to depict familiar objects of the modern age. Most notably, there appears to be clear representations of a helicopter, a submarine, a spaceship, and what many believe to be a fighter jet. These images stand out distinctly amidst the more conventional symbols and hieroglyphs that surround them for proponents of ancient astronaut theories and time travel. These depictions are nothing short of a revelation. They argue that such clear representations of 20th century machinery in a temple that dates back thousands of years suggests ancient Egyptian civilization had been visited by beings from the future or perhaps from other worlds. These visitors, they surmise, might have shared glimpses of advanced technology which were then immortalized on temple walls. Further reinforcing this theory is the understanding of Egyptian carving practices. When changes in leadership or theology occurred, it was not uncommon for previous inscriptions to be plastered over and new carvings made on top. This overlapping of symbols across generations could have unintentionally produced the seemingly anachronistic images. Yet while such logical explanations offer clarity, the allure of the fighter jet and its accompanying machines remains potent to many. 
The idea that ancient civilizations might have had glimpses into the future or encounters with extraterrestrial visitors is a tantalizing possibility that challenges our linear understanding of time and progress. The hieroglyphs of Abydos serve as a poignant reminder of the intricate tapestry of history. They beckon us to question, to wonder, and to remain ever open to the possibility that our understanding of the past, as comprehensive as it might seem, still holds secrets waiting to be unraveled, whether viewed as mere coincidental overlaps or as hints of otherworldly encounters, these images remain a testament to the enduring enigma of ancient Egypt and the ever-present human quest to unlock the mysteries of time. Number 8. The Man at the South Forks Bridge Opening in 1941 In the realm of time travel speculations, photographic evidence often takes center stage among these a peculiar photograph from 1941 stands out depicting a scene from the reopening of the South Forks Bridge in Gold Bridge, British Columbia. But amidst the crowd of hat-wearing, suit-clad attendees, one man appears oddly out of place, causing many to label him the time-traveling hipster. The photograph, now widely circulated on the internet, showcases this man wearing sunglasses, a modern graphic t-shirt, and a hoodie or zippered sweater, all of which seem incongruous with the 1940s attire of the people around him, holding a portable camera, another anomaly for the time he stands nonchalantly, seemingly aware but unperturbed by his distinct appearance. The image has been a source of fervent debate among time travel enthusiasts, conspiracy theorists, and skeptics alike for proponents of the time travel. Theory the hipster, offers a tantalizing piece of evidence. They argue that his modern attire and camera equipment are clear indicators that he belongs to a different time, having traveled back to 1941, either intentionally or accidentally. One compelling argument against the time travel theory is the lack of surprise or interest from the people around him. If his appearance was genuinely anachronistic for the 1940s, it would likely have drawn more attention or reactions from the surrounding crowd. Yet despite the rational explanations provided by skeptics, the allure of the time-traveling hipster remains. The photo has become emblematic of the human fascination with the concept of time travel and the possibility that our past has been punctuated by visitors from the future. IT prompts. Questions about how such a traveler might interact with the past and whether they'd stand out or blend into the tapestry of history, whether seen as an out-of-place individual or merely a fashion-forward man of his time, the enigma of the man at the South Forks Bridge serves as a potent reminder of the mysteries that lurk within the folds of history. It beckons us to keep questioning, explore, and imagining the myriad possibilities that time holds. Number 9. The Painting with a Man Holding a Modern Device Art in its myriad forms offers a mirror to society, capturing moments, emotions, and sometimes mysteries that defy easy explanations. One such enigma is embedded in a painting that has sent ripples through the community of time travel enthusiasts, an artwork that seemingly portrays a man engrossed in a modern day device. The painting in question is the expected one by Austrian artist Ferdinand Georg Waldmuller. Created in the 1860s, at first glance, it depicts a young woman walking along a rural path, holding a small box with a bowed head, seemingly in a gesture of prayer. However, upon closer inspection, the box bears an uncanny resemblance to a modern smartphone. The young woman appears to be looking intently at the object, much like how one would while reading a text message or viewing a photo. However, as with most historical anomalies, there's a more grounded interpretation art historians and critic six note that the young woman is holding a hymn book or a small Bible, common in religious-themed artworks of that period. The act of reading a sacred text in quiet contemplation is a recurring motif in religious art, symbolizing devotion and reflection. The glow or light that some argue emanates from the device could simply be the reflective sheen from the gilded pages or a stylistic choice by the artist. 
Moreover, the very essence of art lies in interpretation and subjectivity. Artists often took liberties with their subjects, infusing them with symbolism, allegory, and sometimes a touch of whimsy. It's plausible that Voldemuller's intention was to play with light perspective and the viewer's perception. Nevertheless, the painting's allure as a potential window into time travel persists in an era of rapid technological advancement, where the lines between reality and science fiction blur. Such anomalies resonate deeply. They tap into the collective yearning to believe in the impossible and challenge the linearity of time. The expected one serves as a testament to the intertwined relationship between art and interpretation. Whether viewed as an innocent depiction of devotion or a hint at time-crossed realities, the painting stands as a reminder of art's enduring power to captivate, inspire, and mystify across ages. Number 10, the 1960s astronaut in a medieval cathedral. The serene and spiritual ambiance of cathedrals often invites introspection and reverence. But in the city of Salamanca in Spain, the serene ambiance of its historic cathedral hides a whimsical and to many baffling detail among the centuries-old carvings on the facade of the new cathedral of Salamanca. There's one figure that stands out from the rest, an unmistakable carving of an astronaut. This figure complete with detailed space boots, a helmet, and what appears to be life support equipment, seems wholly out of place on a cathedral built between the 16th and 18th centuries, long before the idea of space exploration came into human consciousness for time travel, enthusiasts, and ancient astronaut theorists. The presence of this astronaut is a smoking gun, a clear indication of either time-traveling visitors or extraterrestrial influences. Some posit that the carving is evidence that builders of the cathedral either had foreknowledge of space exploration or were influenced by visitors who could travel through time or across galaxies. The presence of this modern carving amidst ancient symbols has led to its fair share of misunderstandings, urban legends, and conspiracy theories. It's a testament to the human inclination to seek mystery and wonder. Even in the most straightforward of explanations, even with the background of its recent origins, visitors flocked to see this curious figure, a blend of the sacred and the profane, the ancient and the modern. But beyond the tales of time travel and aliens, the Salamanca astronaut offers a deeper reflection on the evolution of human civilization. Just as the cathedral with its Gothic and Baroque styles stands as a testament to the artistic and spiritual pursuits of the past, the astronaut represents human ambition, curiosity, and our ceaseless drive to explore the unknown together. They encapsulate centuries of human achievement and aspiration, while the astronaut carving in the new cathedral of Salamanca may not be evidence of time travel or extraterrestrial visits. It stands as a beautiful confluence of history and modernity. It reminds us that while we must revere and preserve our past, it's also essential to embrace the present and look forward to the future with hope and wonder.